Somehow I made it back to Victoria, my seat and safety. I wish, of course, that I'd been able to answer this question at length. In fact, I'd have loved to have told him and the rest of the audience the whole story of the late middle classes from the day I'd finished writing it to my sitting there on an aisle seat in the stalls of Greenwich Theatre. Most of the people there, being of the theatre, would almost certainly have found it, if not enthralling, then at least reminiscent of experiences of their own. But I believe the story reaches out beyond the theatre, into the world immediately around it, and beyond that into further worlds. In fact, when I finish transcribing it on this apple, I might try to smuggle a copy into a space capsule <laughs> so that a, different, a distant generation cut off from its past by some cataclysm, the present educational system, <laughs> They'll fish it out of the ether in one of their skynets and, having deciphered it, will understand and even feel compassion for this strangely heroic little figure. <laughs> the English playwright. <laughs> and the murky and predatory world in which he struggled to survive.